Hello everybody, today I have another game for you. This is Victor into Ari. If you do hear a voice in the background, that is me from my stream. Link to my Twitch will be down below. Stream most days on Twitch and here on YouTube at around 9 p.m. Eastern. So this game, in my opinion, is a very, very good representation of a 1v9 carry. I'm pretty sure this game is deathless. And one death can truly throw games in. When you have when you have when you have a massive shutdown, one death can truly throw games. It really, it really can. One mistake can throw an entire game out the window that you're carrying. So reasonable trading there. Nice, good bait on the REW. Whenever there's minions in front of you like that, you always want to try because if RE auto attacks you, then the W's will like prioritize you. But if she's not able to get an auto attack off on you, they'll just prioritize whatever's close, really. So you can always look for a trade like that where you bait out her W level one, level two, whenever. Good laser. Predict the sidestep. Not bad. It's better to time your laser for when she's going for last hits, but that still wasn't a that was an okay attempt. Okay, nice. Our wave's not in too bad of a spot. We pull the minions a little outside of tower range here, so our tower doesn't auto-attack the melees or anything. Nice. Our driver's going for an early gank bottom. I warded top side there, level one. To see for an invade, but that, I think that ward was honestly a little too early, but we'll see. It looks like it's gonna, yeah, it expires now. Ideally, getting the ward down like 10 seconds before this would be perfect because Jarvan could still get invaded. We should be prioritizing that invade though. Whenever our Jarvan, he's resetting right now and he's gonna look for that. So we wanna try and keep the wave slow pushing into us here. Ari's super chunked and we wanna trade aggressively with Ari. So if she walks over to the roam, to the invade, sorry, um, it'll be less likely for them to succeed. So I'm keeping my eye on the minimap right now. The moment that enemy jungler shows, I'm walking over, and if he's in our jungle here. Okay, we're poking out Ari. We're hitting everything, honestly. This is looking pretty good. Uh, not too bad. Okay, and his blue buff's gone. Yeah. Let's see if he's there in Scuttle. It looks like top laner or jungler just hit the vision plant. I'm ready to walk over. Our wave is slow pushing away from us, but I still am ready to walk over. Looks like it was Garen who hit it. He didn't, jungler didn't do top scuttle. So yeah, he took his gromp and his blue, but didn't do top scuttle. Interesting. Do I go Seraph this game? Okay. Going to reset here. Not too bad. Make sure Jarvan does get the scuttle crab. We back top side here. So if some, for some weird way, jungler contested, we were there. Probably should TP back here. Good. Nice. Ampton boots. Control ward. Always lovely. Are you trying to go for a crash? We should stop her back here. Walk forward and stop her back. W the wave if we want to, or Q it. That's also fine. There we go. Or both. That's also good. And stop her back. Perfect. So now she's going to miss this. Oh, those casters. Uh, those casters got away from us a little bit, which is a slightly unfortunate, but it's not that. It's not the worst thing in the world. So now the wave is going to be close, way too close to our side, so the enemy melees are going to be getting hit by tower. If we did keep those casters out, we'd be in a much better spot, but we still do deny her some CS here, which is really good. She doesn't have teleport this game, but even if she did, this would still be the correct play, in my opinion. Just to deny her a couple minions on that wave, a couple more than she would normally miss. But since she doesn't have TP, this is an even better play. Okay. I don't think I need to ward. Mm. I don't know. Eh. Let's think. I guess it's a fine ward. I'm kind of hoping we can test grubs. It's okay, I guess. It's not that great. I probably should have saved the ward, honestly, or control warded our bush, our river bush. Would have been better. Like the bush closer to our blue buff, not the mid bush. I think that would have been better. Okay, we're trying to see if jungle enemy jungler is on it. They didn't, he didn't show bottom. Oh, he's walking up. Yeah, that looks like they're doing grubs for sure. Yeah, okay. So let's see if we can counter with dragon. Ping it. Let's see if our jungler does it. If we had laser evolve, we'd be crashing this, but since we don't, let's danger pick our trundle. See if he, you... no, oh, he's not listening. So be it. The moment Ari shows top, I will start crashing, but if she doesn't, okay, there's Mundo and Ari crash now. See if she's walking top or coming back middle. Since she's walking top, now we immediately crash. I could even R this way if I want to. I don't think, I think Ring it here is probably the correct play. Because then I can look for the plate and then reset and still have good timing, but I'm just not going to. I'm just going to regular, regular crash it. Which isn't bad, it's fine. I should still get the plate. Mm. 
if I saw Mundo backing or something, I would probably try to cut off Ari from walking back middle here. There she is. She just showed. But since I don't have enough information, I don't think it's worth it. I can just W or something, but I just shouldn't walk. Eh, this is a little risky. Okay. Mundo ended up not doing... Oh, no, there you go. He did grips now. There we go. I was going to say, Mundo didn't do grips before he canceled it, and then he get, went back to it now to finish it. Okay, control ward. Uh, it's fine. We do still have R here, but so does R. E. So there's no point in just blowing R for R. Unless we can actually get something out of it. We're up a really good chunk of uh, XP and CS here. Pull the wave again slightly. It's not too bad. CSing a little poor, but it's not too bad. Nice. We're both low mana. Window invading. Yep, I should walk to this. Yep, yep, yep. This is good. This is good. Jarvan doesn't have R, unfortunately. Mundo is six. Our trundle does not want to walk down. No, he's not paying attention. We can still try and fight this. I'm going to miss a wave up middle, but we can still look for this. Trundle probably dies. Let's see. Oh, wow. Nice. Never mind. We're good. Wow. Okay. They griefed it. Trundle really should have walked down there, but I mean, it's still fine. We get laser evolved from that. We get a kill and an assist. It's pretty solid. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I need to grab this. No, this is a waste. No, I'm just going to miss more CS. I don't need the honey fruit for anything. Like, I'm just missing more CS here. I'm probably just going to crash this and then crash one more wave. I'm going to clear this and then crash one more wave and then reset. So I think going for the honey fruit is kind of stupid. It just wastes time, makes me miss more CS and XP. I missed two extra minions there for that, I think. Just crash this into immediate reset. Yep, yeah, this is good. Ooh, missed the melee sag. I should probably lane ward as well. Ooh, you missed everything. There's the lane ward. Okay. We're probably going to go Ludens this game. I think you only really go Seraphs if you have to. Malignance doesn't really feel great on Victor, honestly. I think Ludens is kind of just forced. Lich Bane is okay, but like you kind of you kind of want the mana on Victor, honestly. And since it gives 25 ability haste now, it's actually not like... It doesn't feel good to build, but you kind of have to build it. Like, If you can't utilize Malignance properly and you don't need the Seraph shield, then you're just kind of forced to go Ludens. It's kind of a feels bad item. Okay, we got a pretty early laser evolve here. Pinged, missing Mia, probably going top. She's probably going to be top any moment here. We question mark pinged, he's not paying attention. Okay. Yep, he dies. Crash, and then I have no idea. look for Chunk on tower. I don't have all for 15. I could get walked out by Mundo from bot side. But I think we'd be okay with Flash. I should probably start backing up now, though. Yeah, it's a little late. Oh. Trundle says, nice. He ping one second before the gank happens. This is really risky. Yep, there's Mundo. I'm going to have to Flash this, probably. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that was way too risky for way too long. I was too aggressive on the... All right, wait, what are they doing? They're really going for this? Ari misses Charm. Jarvan's here. Wait, what are they doing? What are they doing? I mean, Mundo just greedily chased. The moment I flashed, Mundo should have stopped. Our Trundle was... Complaining that we didn't ping. Or that we pinged too late, even though we question mark. He's talking about the danger ping. We did danger ping right before... She showed, but we question mark pinged like... 10 seconds before that multiple times and he just didn't pay attention so be it just mute and go next not go next but like mute him and just worry about like worry about the game like go to the next thing you have to do okay we got double buffs from that Ari probably has ult pretty soon here ooh nice try from her trade with the Q auto then sidestep the return Q not bad uh Honestly, Jarvan should look for a dive here. I should be warning a but yeah, okay. I was gonna say Mundo's gonna be here any moment. I could probably kill Ari. Okay, yeah, she dies. If Jarvan comes, this is free. Oh come on, Jarvan! My hero! Oh, he actually gets there in time just enough. Walk away, don't let Mundo kill, just fade away laser if we want to. Nice. I can just reset the waves good. Nice. Jarvan actually came lovely. I missed the plate probably. It's really close actually, but we'll see. Super close. Uh, we don't see it go down on the minimap. I should prob... Hmm, do I get Sorks or Merc Treads? Actually, this is a tough call. I don't think... Nah. I think I genuinely... Uh, this is a tough buy. I think Merc Treads is the better buy, honestly. Yeah. It's tough. It's really tough. 
They have Ari with, with Merc Treads. It's basically with Merc Treads, Ari basically can't really one v one me. Looks like we lose probably six grubs this game. Mundo's probably be letting it there from base, but we'll see. If he's doing them now, he's getting there like because he did die from the Jarvan. So if he beelined it there, he'd probably be on them right now. But yeah, like the Merc Treads, I don't think the Merc Treads is a bad buy. The only thing is that why it feels bad is because Victor already isn't a champ that deals a whole lot of damage. So that's why I'm saying Merc Treads feels kind of bad. But it's bot lane. But it's uh super, super free into Ari. They have it's there's so there's Garen Silence, Mundo Slows, Aurelia Stun. Um they have, it's Lulu bot, right? That's Polymorph from Lulu and then Ari Charm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, they kind of grief this. But yeah, so it's the CC, the tenacity is relevant and the MR is super, super relevant into the RE. We're doing really well right now. Nice sidestep. There's Ari walking up. I don't have alt, but I have Merc Tread, so I don't feel, yeah, what is she doing? There's no way she kills here. There's no chance. There's no chance. I have Merc Treads. Yeah, there's no chance. What is she doing? She's probably dead. Does Jarvan make it in time? It's close. Yes. Yeah, like if I didn't have Merc Treads, I wouldn't fight that. But since I do have Merc Treads, there's no chance she's beating me. Okay, what do I want second? Do I want Zhonya second? Or do I go Lich Bane? Hmm. I don't think Lich Bane is bad. I think Lich Bane's honestly not bad. I don't think I really need the Zhonyas that early. I think the Lich Bane is fine. I don't even know if I really need Zhonyas, honestly. We'll see. I think Lich Bane into Death Cap's the obvious buy. If they start building a more, we just go Crypt Bloom instead. But it looks like Lich Bane Death Cap's the purchase. I have Unleashed TP, so I'm keeping my eye on bottom here. If I'm going to go, I should be going. It looks like that's actually... Ooh, I, do, I should go. I should go. I should go. Go, 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 go. I'm hesitating too much. It looked like they had it, but then... Yeah, this is too late. I, there's no way I get her. Not even if that lands. Yeah, even if that stun lands, I don't think we get her. It's close, but... If I'm going to TP to that, I should TP earlier. Like, I, it looked like they were... Oh, nice. Good check on Mundo. It looked like they had it, but then Aurelia started doing Aurelia things. So if I went earlier... I might have been able to save our uh, Soraka. And the reason it's okay to TP like that is because Dragon's up and like we'd still be there for that. Okay, Trundle top. We danger ping him super early this time, directly on his face. Garen proxying. Uh, I don't think we can really do anything about that. Soraka's walking to it for no reason. Oh, he changed his mind. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do to Jarvan there. It just takes too much time to walk over and he probably just runs away from us. Yeah, we have slow evolve, but it's, it's still Garen. Did I say Jarvan? I think I meant Garen. I think I might have said Jarvan. If I did say Jarvan, I meant Garen. If I did say Garen, then I'm we're fine. Ooh, nice charm there. Wow. I walk right into it. Okay, top die again. Yeah, our trundle's probably pretty tilted here, but we have him muted, so we're good. Don't let his pings interfere with us. Okay, Mundo top side looking for probably Harold Garen proxying. Soraka's not healing me. Why? I have to type heal. There we go. Oh wow, nice laser. Just the tip. Mm, yeah, I don't really... I think it's... Eh, it's not great, actually. I was going to say, I should just sit there and look... If I can get the Q auto off on her, yeah, but, like... I don't think that trade was really worth it there. I was already poking her out super hard with just laser, and now I'm just chunked for Herald if we do it. I don't have TP here. I guess we're not looking for it. I guess not with Trundle being so useless compared to Garen. Catch okay, back and buy. Bot's getting really messed up here. Right now, we're the only one really doing great. Jarvan's not doing too bad, but we're the only one doing, like, really well here. Arya ended up crashing. It looks like they're going to do Herald. Do we contest this? I have alt. I'm pretty strong, honestly. I think we should. It looked like Arya reset. Oh, no, she's here. She's low. She If she didn't reset, then it's she, it's pointless for them. This is good for us, yeah. Jarvan, shall help me with Mundo. Hopefully, Jarvan helps me with Mundo. I should R. Why am I not Ring? Why am I not Ring? What am I doing? What am I not? Jeez, it took me forever to R. Why did I wait so long? Ari probably... Oh, she doesn't get it. Wait, what? She just had to R away. Okay, I should clear this. I don't think we're holding bot tower. I should just push middle here. I don't know why it took me so long to R the Mundo. No, no, stay, 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 stay. Tower's already gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bot tower's already gone. Smolder can hold inhib. I should look for chunk on this. They could be coming for me. I gotta worry about bot lane rotating up here. No, Aurelia shows. Okay, we're good. As long as Smolder doesn't die, we're fine. If he does die, I don't know what he's doing. Yep, he dies. Okay. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to take tower anyway. Even if they chunk inhib, as long as they don't get the inhib tower, we're good. Okay. Uh, this game's looking kind of rough, honestly. Like, yeah, we're up in kills, but that's... 
or bot inner tower for top inner tower. So basically Aurelia Lulu shares gold on bot tower while we get top tower there with the, with the, for the, sorry, for the trundle, which I think it's better to get it on their Aurelia. The Aurelia is pretty strong right now. Five, two. Oh wait, I didn't have trundle muted. Oh, I just muted him now. If trundle's going to go bottom, I should just reset and go top. I don't know why trundle's staying. This is really bad. This is really okay. Whatever. Yeah, I took too long there. I just wanted my Lich Bane. Oh well. I mean, I can. I can just wave through it, but I can't really. We got enough gold for Lich Bane. Ooh, I should have canceled my bet self there. Yeah, they're probably dead. Trevor might get out. Oh wait, Flash. That should take basically take bait. Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, now I should go to. Yeah, okay, we're fine. So, Raka dies. I don't think we're really killing Mundo here. I do have R, but I'm. Yeah, there's no way we're really doing it with just Jarvan here. Trundle's finally walking over. I should take the red buff. Yeah, it's I. It's just it's more valuable on me. Because I don't trust Trundle. Like, it, technically, yeah, it's better on Trundle, but I just I don't trust him. So, Smolder's going to catch top, which I think is the correct play. I should be sitting for middle because I have the wave clear. I can stop this easily. Rally up very strong. We do have Flash and R, so if she. Oh. Wait, she's trolling. What is that? She's tr We sidestepped the stun nicely there. It looked like she thought she hit the stun, but then she just. Strip didn't, so. Mm, we get her flash, nice. Good sidestep on the Aurelia stun. We had flash, so we were totally fine there. Yeah, she just straight up inted. I guess she was smashing bottom and hitting that consistently, so she expected to hit it on me, but nope, not happening. Okay, do I want Zonya's next? I kind of just want Death Cap, honestly. I don't have enough. I'm going to get Heal Cut? Mm, I mean, honestly, not bad, actually. Let me think. So Muno healing, obviously Aurelia healing. Is it worth it? Hmm. I don't think it's that bad, honestly. I don't think it's that bad, actually. That Oh my god, the smolder has 116 stacks at 18 minutes. That's yikes. This was this is the previous patch where smolder stacks at 225, not 275, but still that's so yikes. Oh my god. Even if he's getting smashed, I don't think it should be that bad. I miss cannon. Oof. Trying to look if I should walk bottom. Yeah, they're already dead anyway. Team trying to FF? No, no, no. I can... The game looks really bad, but it's still doable. Okay, that's a dragon. You got a sack. Just crash. I kind of got to stay middle here. I'd like to go bottom. or top. Top's coming into us, so I have time, actually. I'm assuming Trundle's going to catch bottom or Smolder's going to catch bottom. Trundle when he spawns on 20 and Smolder or Smolder now. I think I should just sit middle. Top's coming into us. I'm, my, my goal is going to be going top lane unless Trundle catches it. If he does it, though, I'm going to look to clear like one more wave here and then look to uh, go top lane. Worried that they were hovering Garen. So we blue tranker for our team there. It looks like they're not. I have Flash still. Like Even though Aurelia is strong, yeah, he, this time he wasn't sure. Yeah, he missed, he missed stun again. We sidestepped it. Jarvan's here. This should be a dead. Honestly, yeah, I think the heal cut was a good buy. Trundle's here. Yeah, the Aurelia is playing way too cocky. Like, he even waited to see if he hit the stun that time, then immediately Q on me. But still. He's not predicting the sidestep. Yeah, this should be. Am I going to go Zonya? I think Deathcap. I want Deathcap over Zonya's. Like, Zonya's is nice, but I'm pretty much our whole team's damage right now. Like, Smolder's not doing very well at all. That's, he's not even a champ until 225, and he's not even close. Trundle is. I mean, he does some damage, but he's kind of trolling it. And Jarvin is kind of just like a CC bot and lock them down. And the Shirok, obviously. So yeah, I think Death Cap's the play. I have to unleash TP, so I should I feel okay here, honestly. I don't know why I'm backing. I have nothing to buy. I don't know what I'm backing for. I have literally no clue what I'm backing for. I can either walk middle or overextend here, bottom. I feel like there's no there's literally no reason to back there. That was the most stupid I could have been here middle for that. That's a really, really bad back. I think that's a brain dead autopilot back. Like I had, I had more than enough mana. I didn't have anything to buy. See if Lily looks for a greedy ward, and she does. She doesn't have flash from the mid play, so she's dead. Nice. Cool. We got that. I still have R. Driving catches her Ari. She probably ults away. Wait, what? Did she R middle? Oh, I guess I didn't see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I saying? Yeah, yeah. She R for the kill middle. Okay, nice. I should reset and go top. I should reset and go top or crash this and then t actually taking TPing top is the play though. I think going for this and then TPing top's not bad. 
Smolder's going. Does Smolder just get towered over though? Mm. Okay, I guess Aurelia really didn't even stay. So I think if I didn't have TP, I would have to back, but since I do have TP, I can posture to see, like posture middle for tower and see if she pushes. If she kept pushing, I probably would have had to TP top if she started diving uh, Smolder, because she would kill Smolder and then go for the uh, tower, which we don't want to give her. She already got bot tower, we do not want to give her top in her tower. Okay. I have TP, I think I should be going top, honestly. I don't really know why I'm going bot side. Again, I think that's an autopilot play. Maybe I was worried my team was going to get caught out or something. But yeah, and yeah, okay, it happens after. Jarvan probably fine, yeah. Okay, I walk back, just waste some time. Clear the ward. Trundle's super overextended right now. I guess he's just going to suicide for tower. We could honestly look for Baron. Yeah, this is a good ping, actually. If they send like two or three for Trundle, which they probably are. This is a very good call. Mundo's middle here, so we don't want to 50-50 it. Yeah, two bottom. Aurelia and Lulu bottom. We should look for a kill here. I don't know if we just do Baron right now. I think we should try to force. Garen's bottom too. I think we try and force a fight. Mundo has no way in because he has Ghost, so we took the Blast Gun. The only way he gets in is walking in. We should force the fight here. We should turn on the fight. The Baron isn't the priority. Killing the Mundo right now is... We can't zone Mundo off. We should be looking for the... Yeah, this is bad. Team's not really on the same page. Bait the Baron, we f we start the fight onto the Mundo like immediately before the Garen and the Aurelia and Lulu make it. But now we're just chunked and they have Siege. Yeah, this is just bad. That was bad. I think the idea was good, but I don't think the like skill level of the players is there to understand what the actual play is. I wouldn't recommend pinging that. And like, uh, If you're going to ping it, you should type to your team what you want. If you're like... Honestly, low diamond below. I don't think they would understand that. Okay, Ari pushing top. I'm here clearing middle. Getting kind of close to death cap here. Once I get death cap, I'm going to be an absolute monster. Okay, I don't mind resetting here. I don't have mana. I'm not buying anything here, but I do have half mana. Dragon's up in 25. I have TP if I need to. I do kind of need some mana for this fight. Uh, I should, okay, he just, Soraka gets caught out. Okay, I guess we're not contesting this dragon again. Trundle's top, Soraka just walks in by herself, gets caught out. Yeah, this game's looking really bad. We have 200 CS at 24 minutes. Considering how much we're grouping with our team, that's not too bad, actually. It's really good, actually, in my opinion. Because I haven't been sidelining very much. I'd like to sideline, but I have always pretty much been here with my team. Okay, Garen, look, running at me, I should be fine. We don't know if they're hovering in the bush. This is bad, don't go, yeah, good. Jarvan didn't alt, good. They're doing dragon. We don't know how how close the Aurelia Lulu were hovering. Or if Mundo was hovering and Aurelia was soloing dragon, whatever it was. Jarvan going for the red. I don't know what the EQ was. The red's not up for 50 seconds here. I mean, I could look for Chunk. I don't think it matters, though. Look for a laser poke on him. If we can get Scuttle, this would be nice. But this is... I'm posturing super, super, like, greedy here. I gotta be... I have Flash. So it's, it's okay, but, like, I have to really watch out for Aurelia. Flash R or Flash, whatever it is. So if I get hit by that, I'm getting Lulu knocked up when she cues onto me and then stunned and I'm just dead because I don't have Zongas. I have Death Cap in a wave here. I can't, I don't know. Uh, I'm 70 away. I need something. Okay, nice. I'm going to do Wolves. Jarvan was pinging me to do uh, Raptors, but I think just doing Wolves is fine. I haven't really TP'd very much this game, have I? Clear this, reset, grab Death Cap, head probably top lane. Okay, this is a massive spike. I have to obviously go Cripple up next. Aurelia is starting to build what's what I assume is Wit's End. Okay, Garen obviously just gets enough resist for being Garen from his W passive. I might sell Wit's Bane for the Andres later as well. Mm, I don't think Mundo does, just from being Mundo, but it's definitely up there. It's higher than like the regular average champion. So I think Kriplum's the only, honestly, the only purchase here. Like, again, Zhonya's is super nice. It does make me super safe, but, like, I really need the Kriplum damage. Or the Kriplum uh, pen, sorry. And since we have Death Cap, the heal on Kriplum's always great. The heal on Kriplum isn't very good until you have a lot of AP. 
and Death Cap's kind of the only item to really give you that crazy AP. Bush chasing to see if Ari walks up. Just waiting. I don't want to overextend and die. Again, at this point, I, when I have a thousand gold shutdown, I need to be super cautious that like one death here would just absolutely throw the game. Me giving depending on who gets my shutdown, like if Aurelia gets it or even Garen or Ari gets it, like it's looking super bad. Trundle really overextending bottom, just fighting. He might get away, it's close, but probably not. Two bottom here. I should look for Ari. Yeah, this is good. My team's doing Baron. I should look for Bush Cheese on Ari here. If she walks away, oh, she checks. It's a good chunk. Not too bad. Like, we're not just going to do Baron, so it's, we're, we kind of got to look for the fight. So chunking Ari, so it makes it a little more difficult for her to go in, is perfect. I could have walked at them here. Still good. Oh, really, really nice. I should have walked through River, I think, there and looked for the WR. I kind of wasted a bit of time walking around through our jungle. I don't think I needed to worry about, like, posturing so far into river. I think we were good, but I think that's also fine. Ended up working out. Good WR. We have smite up, right? Hit tab and check. Yes, we do. Garen's pushing base. I think it's fine to just focus this. I'm needed for this. We don't have very much damage. I'm okay just sacking inhibitor for Baron. Like, look, even with me here, look how slow we're doing it. There's no way they steal. We're fine. Just keep burning it. Yep. Trundles catches bottom. Garen gets inhib. It's fine. As long as Garen doesn't scrub smite, nice, good smite, we're good. Uh, yeah, crit bloom for sure next. Reset, catch top wave. I should go top one. Our smolder's catching top. Fine, I'll go middle. Um, after the fiendish codex, I think this was, this was before the fiendish codex nerf, but after the fiendish codex nerf, I think going the blighting jewels usually better. Before this, like on this current patch that this game was played on, which was the previous patch, I think fourteen five or whatever. Um, I think going the Fiendish Codex is better. But not anymore. Okay, we are 16. We are kind of close to full build after Cripplum, just Morello. Okay. Jarvan is 7, 0, and 10 right now. He's been playing pretty well, actually. I know I said this was a 1v9. I'm pretty sure Jarvan starts playing poorly kind of soon, but we keep it consistent. He's been doing really well all game, playing around me for the most part. Prioritizing objectives when he can, which I think has been good. 40 seconds on Dragon. So, Smolder clearing bottom. Does Smolder at stacks yet? Is Smolder at 225 yet? I don't even know. He wasn't even close at 18. He's probably he's gotta be he's gotta have stacks, right? He's gotta be there. It's 28 minutes into the game. He's gotta have 225, right? He's been catching a lot of side lanes. If he's farming correctly with his Q, he should have it. Dragon up at 18 here. Trundle's just splitting. Uh, is this soul for them or is this soul point? I need to tap. It's soul point. So we oh Mundo's middle. Yeah, they're just giving this to us. Okay. And Trundle dies. It's fine. Garen and Ari were there. This should be free dragon. Aurelia missing bottom, so probably walking over here. Mundo missing middle. There he is. Just zone Mundo off. Do not let Mundo get this. Okay, Mundo just walks in, smite steals. Cool. I no one's going on Mundo. That's crazy. I'm trying to save R for the fight. Yeah, it's good. I don't have to burn R Mundo. Base is getting demolished, though. I kind of got it back. Yeah. Okay, they get soul point. Really unfortunate. I don't know why nobody went on Mundo there. I'm the only one trying to fight him off, but I mean, so be it. You can't control that. Get stolen, which is super sad. I have Cripple him now, though. Super sad that they're on soul point. Super sad. But these things happen. Only thing I really need is Morello now. So I'm basically full build right now. The Morello is like a little bit of ability haste and some AP, but that's kind of it. I'm pretty much full build. Draven messed up his smite on it too. He smited at like 1400, I think. And then Mundo just walked in and smited at like 100, 200, whatever it was. Okay. I still have TP. I have not used TP like at all this game. It's been kind of difficult too though, honestly. Like all the TP plays I'm looking for are just like, I'm not TPing to help Trundle ever. Like that's never the play. All Trundle's doing is just perma side laning and just trying to draw pressure. He's gonna fight like this though. Wait, what is Aurelia doing? Oh, I missed my laser. Or oh, this. I should, okay, there we go. Nice, Cripple him heal. Not bad. Oh, Aurelia just ints. This Aurelia with having such a massive lead has been throwing super hard. Trundle going to catch bottom. I don't think my flash is worth the Garen there. I assume they have it. Smolder, no? I guess Smolder doesn't have 225 stacks yet. At 31 minutes, he still doesn't have it because he would have executed there. 
He misses the R2. How many stacks? He's got to be close, right? He's at 226. He just got it right now on that minion. He's at 226 right now. He literally just got it. I have Lich Bane, so I'm using a laser to get the Empowered Auto. This should be an Ebb. We're not ending, though. We back off after this. Still, it states, yeah, back off. Good. Where am I going? Am I trying to take base gate? We're fine. We should walk away and take their jungle camps. We should look for wolves here. They do have base gate, actually, so we do have to worry about that a little bit, but... Okay, I'm not even going to look. If my team's not going to look, I'm not going to look. Okay, fair enough. Control ward. Getting close to Morello here. I don't want to stay in it though. There's no reason. There's no way I'd stay and walk up to this wave. If I want to fight at our tower and clear wave then, that's fine. But there's no reason for me to walk up to a wave like that and just throw the game. Like if I die once, this game's probably over. Like actually. If it's an ace, they can just end middle really quickly. If I die, the sh whoever gets the shutdown just is a monster. Okay, I have enough. I have enough. Nice. Danger picking my team while I'm backing from Morello here. Okay, we're full build now at 32 minutes. They're grouping top. Trundle's fighting Garen bottom. Try to ping to help top. Smolder's middle. Rocka was recalling. Cancelled it. I don't really need gold for anything right now, but I'm going to clear the wave anyway because I still kind of have to wave clear. I only think I could buy is blue elixir. Which I probably clear this wave into blue elixir purchase. Yeah, I should back here and buy blue elixir now. Back. Buy blue elixir. What am I doing? I'm just standing here doing nothing. Buy blue elixir. What am I? What am I? Wait. What am I doing? There we go. I I don't know. I had a brain lag. I guess. I waste what ten seconds there, just standing around doing nothing. I mean, it's not really a big deal because like we're, our team isn't really doing anything. But like, still, just I could be on the map a little quicker. Okay, Trundle. If he dies right now, is really bad. He gets Lulu. Not bad. He's showing a lot of pressure. Wow. He's just perma side landing. He's still alive. Actually, I thought he was going to die earlier than this, so this isn't actually that bad. We look for Baron here. Garen lives at 1 HP. Okay, go to Baron. Should be able to do this fast enough here. I imagine our Smolder now does enough damage to actually... There we go. Yeah, that's looking much faster than before. Okay, we have enough vision. We Yep, yeah, they're in base. They're pushing our bot lane. We were going to see if Mundo reset and tried to come for it. He did not. Immediately resets. Go clear bottom. Hold in hib. Lovely, lovely. I should let Smolder clear the wave though. I'm full build. Good. Okay, I just have to play this game intelligently and we should be able to win. They're starting to get some Amar. Mundo has Jack Show. I think the Garen had Spirit Visage. But we are full build after all. Right, nice, good laser checking the bush. If I face checked into that, I'm pretty sure I'm dead or at least flashing. Which we do not want to do just before Dragon. And this is their soul because they stole the last one, so we have to fight this. If we did, if we were on third Drake, I think we honestly could just push middle here and like look for. I guess pushing middle wouldn't even be worth it since the inhib's already down. Actually, if inhib wasn't down, I think trying to push middle, if they weren't on soul point, would be fine. But that's just a bunch of hypotheticals. That doesn't matter. Right now. Okay, I need this posture and space correctly. Just laser poking, not looking for any greedy Q autos. Trundle's cutting off Garen. Okay. Nice. This is fine. Yep, Q. Go back to the team. Go for Dragonir. Gar oh my god, where did Trundle go? He insta-died. What? Aurelia Ard. Ooh, I have to flash, yeah. I have R here. Exhaust is actually massive, but we still get the Aurelia. Okay, nice. Smolder executes coming in clutch here. Our jungler is dead. Theirs is also dead, though. Don't let Garen heal. Big laser on Garen, actually. Ari ult. That hit charm hits, really? Smolder killed Garen there. Yeah, I think we should look for Dragon now. Just a low Lulu and a low Ari. I don't think I look for, like, a TP middle here. If I get Ari, maybe, but, like... I don't think I... T uh, okay, if I TP here, at best, I get one Nexus Tower. Maybe two if I'm super lucky, but probably just one Nexus Tower. And then I might die... After that, anyway, I probably get one Nexus Tower and walk away realistically, but I don't think that's worth it. I literally haven't TP'd at all this game, but still, I don't think it TPing like that. I have a thousand gold shutdown still. If I TP in there, I can probably get a Nexus Tower and walk away, but I don't think it's worth the coin flip. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, if we get enough, if we kill two or three again and our team's actually alive, we could just end anyway. Like, getting one Nexus Tower doesn't really change a whole lot. 
Like it's not that big a deal. So I think it's I think it's actually the correct play not TPing there. If I got the kill on Ari there, I think TPing for sure, but not with both Lulu and Ari being up. Even though Ari doesn't have alt and Lulu was low, Lulu just has to recall. And then Ari just she just has to help Ari there. Catch Mundo out. I have alt. I gotta watch it for a rally over the wall. I shouldn't waste R here. Laser's good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Draven burned R. We chunk Mundo, which I mean, eh. It's not great. Trundle's pushing bottom. We kind of want to wait for him to get pressure right now, and then we can look for inhib here. I don't have flash, so I do have to watch out here. As well, since I don't have Zonyas. Do have to watch out here. Yikes, laser. It's fine. Trundle's pressuring with Garen here. I'm just throwing laser. I'm not walking up too far. I need to space correctly. If I get caught out by an RE charm or something without flash, I am potentially dead unless Soraka can save me. I'm probably dead at this point in the game, though. With how strong they are. Okay, good chunk. We're poking over the wall here nicely. We got mid inhib. Helping bottom now. Baron and Dragon not up for a while here. Oh. Okay, this isn't looking amazing. My R control, I should have moved it to Lulu, I think. I think I should have moved my R to Lulu there. Oh, we... Oh, I'm so close to killing her. Ugh. We end up, okay, they end up chasing a little too far. They're all so low. Unfortunate. They all live with such little HP. We're not ending here. I don't think going that'll make sense. They're looking for Aurelia, though. Which I guess is fine. I should just look for Tower. I have Lich Bane and Blue Elixir. I do a lot of damage to that thing. Yeah, look at that. Look at those autos. Just auto tower. Nice. Please? Jesus. There we go. Are we going to look for Inhibir? Mundo. Still dead for 30. They're super low. Yeah, I just take Inhibit and walk away. Oh, what is Trundle doing with Garrett, with Aurelia over there? Uh, I should just recall here. I should look at least to see if Trundle's winning or losing. It looks like he has... What am I doing? Oh my god. I was TPing to cut off the Aurelia, but I should have at least looked a little more. Soraka dies again. I should have at least looked. That was my first TP in, what, like 30 minutes? Freaking, oh, jeez. That was so bad. And then here comes the FF vote from our team. No thanks. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but, like, I should have looked at the Aurelia at least a little more. I assumed she was going to run away there from that little glance that I did. And I was just going to cut her off and kill her, but Trundle ended up just killing that fight went on for so long there. Jeez. Baron up in 55 seconds. I am not going to have flash. For, unless we stall for a little bit, I'll flash. I have flash in a minute, so I mean, like, I'll flash 10 seconds after Baron spawns, basically. Um, I don't... Do I want to sell anything? I don't think I want to sell anything. Only thing that's debatable on selling is boots. I could sell, like, mercs for sorks or something at this point, but I, is it even worth it? I still think the mercs are okay because there's still Garen silence. Like this, get, don't like I'm get, I could get hit by Ari Charm, but it's I think I think the mercs are still fine, honestly. Okay, Trundle at least gets one there, I guess. Baron up in twenty here. They have double inhibs down. All we have to do is not let Mundo steal. If we just, you know, okay, this should be good. Take the blast con. I don't know where Jarvan's going, but sure, he's looking to clear rugs. This feels greedy. We should just be doing this on spawn. Mundo has no way into the pit. If we're not gonna, we should be doing this on spawn. This is bad. So now they're pushing middle. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, yeah, it's good control. Good control from Raka. Oh, should be. Oh my gosh, I should have R'd that. I guess I thought she was gonna R away, which is why I didn't. R is solo. Oh my god, really? My R was bad there. I think it's still okay. Nice, good crit bloom heal. Look for the Mundo. Oh no, Jarvin. Nice flat. Ooh, okay. Good flash in the Ari Charm. I'm the only one alive now, though, yikes. Good space in the Mundo Cleavers. This is totally doable. I just have to not get hit by a Mundo Cleaver. I'm clearing the waves. Like, if I die here, they probably don't end because of Trundle, but still, again, I don't want to get my shut down away. I kill Mundo here. I should have absolutely Q auto laser. He's dead when it comes up. Yep, perfect. And then Lulu's really low here. Our soul's coming up here now. I guess I expected Ari to ult immediately when I chunked her that hard. Oh, oh wow, she dies to that big, actually. So I guess that's why I didn't ult, which I think is fine. My R into the Aurelia, I R'd after she R flashed. Like, this is, like, the instant she did it, I, I used my R, which was unfortunate. Okay, this should be Soul here, lovely. Can reset by Blue Elixir again. That was a nice flash over the Ari charm there. I feel like I can't sell anything. 
Could I have flashed a little better to maybe get Lulu? Possibly, but I, I think it was fine. Flashing over the Ari Charm is all you really want. I flashed like directly on top of Ari, which was fine. Q auto laser, she'd insta died. Okay, we have Soul now. Their base is not looking great. But it's like, like I feel like a lot of people would have just ran straight at Mundo there and just like fought him, which I mean, it's just riskier. Like there's no reason, like when it, when it was just Mundo and Lulu at the end there, I just poked with laser and waited for my cooldowns and just when he got low enough, then I deleted him, which I think was fine. Because Lulu and Mundo together is still a bit of a threat. Those Lulu shields are not a very long cooldown at this point. If she spaces properly and I can't hit a laser on her, then yeah, she can just keep shielding the Mundo there. And Mundo R again is not a cool, short, cool, not a long cooldown at this point in the game. I don't really like that Jarvanar. Yeah, it was just bad. We wasted Jarvanar and Smolder R there. That was really bad actually. I think my team's getting a little too antsy. All we have to do is just siege with Baron and we're good. Really is GA still. Trundle pushing top. If that's what he's going to keep doing, then we just got to wait for him to get pressure and then we look for the fight. Jarvan, okay, lives. Yeah, Jarvan's been throwing a little bit. He did really well early, but oh my god. If that laser hit, she was dead, I think. Yeah, if that laser hit, she was dead, actually. Oh, Smolder kills anyway. Wow. That Smolder execute actually kills Garen. Oh. Do I? I have Soraka. Okay, Soraka R. Garen's still alive. Oh, geez. I bet. Okay, yeah. Nice. Soraka R and then Kriplin. This should be game. I almost died there, actually. I was assumed I'd be a lot safer than that, but I guess God. with Ignite, it's risky. This hell is over. Okay. That should be GG. It's oh, just, okay, nice. The FF. Yeah, if I died once that game at the wrong time, we could have very easily just thrown. Massive, yeah. Jarvan did nothing. Oh my God. But he was there for the early mid game, which is pretty, pretty big. Okay. If you guys enjoyed that video, please like, subscribe, share with anybody who you think would care. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time.